Hey guys, welcome to my review on the Godzilla Earth figure by SH Monster Arts. I'm going to be judging this thing on a couple different criteria, basically how it looks, how it feels, the overall quality, and of course coloring. So right off the bat, to start with how it looks, as you can see, depending on your personal preference of design, I think it looks incredible. It's actually scanned from the same data that they used in the Godzilla anime that they have on Netflix. It's very movie accurate to say the very least. As far as the quality goes, there are a lot of points of articulation. I'm not exactly sure how many there are. So you can see the points of articulation fairly well, but in certain lightings it masks it. And also, one of my favorite parts of Godzilla Earth here is his tail. It's incredibly long on this figure, and it uh, really balances the figure out. But the design of the tail actually kind of masks the points of articulation, so I think that's pretty neat. You can pose this guy in many different ways. You can see his head can like move up and down. It can move left to right. The tail here can move in many different ways. If you want, he doesn't do this in the movie, but if you want Godzilla to be judo kicking, you can like adjust his legs to be doing that. His tail will keep him balanced. So as far as the actual quality goes, it's very sturdy. However you pose this guy, Godzilla is going to stay exactly how you pose him. Not to mention he's made out of what feels like a very high quality plastic. It is pretty light and when you mess with him a little bit you can hear some creaking, but that's, you know, good. It's also a new figure, so that'll probably fade over time. If I pose him in a certain way where his tail might be a little up, will his tail eventually droop? I don't know yet, but so far I've had it for a couple weeks and it, and he seems like he's staying put. I've messed with him a lot too, so the articulation on this figure is very good. So one of the things my mind is pretty blown about is the fact that it translates really well from screen to you know a physical figure. The fact that if you look really closely, you can see all the detail, the kind of vines that go up through his body and, and make up his muscle structure. It's really detailed. It's not, there are no corners cut with it. Down to his toenails, down to his fingernails, the vines running up through his body, and especially his fins. So if you look at the dorsal fins, there is a lot of them. None of them feel like they're cheap or about to fall off or chip or anything like that. And there's gotta be, there's gotta be like a hundred of them running down his back. So just super impressed by the overall sculpt. The articulation is very well done and the quality feels very, very top-notch. I've seen other Godzilla Earth figures, including other Godzilla figures from other manufacturers, and this one definitely seems to be the best. The one I purchased here, I believe it came out in December of 2017. I think there is also a version that they released um, last year that has like a small Godzilla Earth and the um, the ship that the, the humans and the Bell Saludo and the Exus have in the series, but this one didn't come with it. So this is just Godzilla Earth, Nothing else came with it. And that leaves us with the color of the figure. So if you watch the movies, which I do recommend, um, I like to watch them subbed, <laughs> but they, they are very interesting. It's kind of a different take. I feel like every Godzilla movie is a different take, but you can't really tell fully what color he is. He kind of just looks gray or silverish because of the lighting. It's very dramatically lit. But here you can tell he's kind of like this gray, turquoise-ish, greenish color. And that really shows in the dorsal fins. I don't know if these are all individually hand colored, but the paint jobs on these things are incredible. Um, his tongue is painted, the eyes are painted, and it's not done in a tacky fashion. It's it's very organic looking. Not all the vines are greenish on his body. The the paint job I'm I'm very impressed with for a character who has kind of a simple color scheme. It's nice to know that they at least took their time with it and didn't cut corners. I purchased this Godzilla Earth figure from Amazon. I got it for about $102. It was eligible for Prime, but I went back and checked and I think it the price went up a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's eligible for Prime anymore, but it is worth looking. I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna give this figure a nine out of 10. I can't give it a perfect 10. Kind of a nitpicky thing, but the feet are a little bit big. And I know they're actually like that in the film, but just something about it, his feet look like they're a little too big. So I can't give it a perfect 10 out of 10. I'm one of those weirdos who actually do like the tree trunk Godzilla legs. <laughs> but I, I still think the design is overall fantastic. The detail is incredible. The coloring is amazing. The quality is definitely there. We'll see if it stands the test of time. I highly recommend this figure. So that's it for this review. I did purchase the 2019 Godzilla. Uh, I pre-ordered it but I'm, I don't think it's gonna be here until like July, so I'll review that then. The other one that I do wanna get, it's a little bit pricey, but it's the 1964 Godzilla vs. Mothra Godzilla, and there's two different versions of it. One's got like the regular version, 
and then the other one has like him covered in dust after he emerges from Earth. So hopefully I'll get one of those and I can review that for you guys as well. So like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think about this Godzilla figure. I personally love Godzilla Earth. The animes, I feel like, could be a little bit better, and I can definitely see why people have their, their qualms with them. I've been enjoying them a lot. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Adios.